Big news of the day just two minutes away, but first, every 20 minutes, a child is diagnosed with autism. That's three children an hour, 67 children a day. According to the Autism Society of America, cases of the complex neurological disorder are on the rise, making it the fastest growing developmental disability in the United States. There is no cure, but there is hope. Fox News correspondent Todd Connor with one family's story. I'm going to jump. Brett Palo and his sister Grace love to swim in the family pool, jump around on the trampoline, and tease each other. But life wasn't always so normal for this family from Long Island, New York. Brett was a talkative toddler until he got sick. Breddy, Breddy. There was a point in time where we, we did think he was deaf. Brett. Their son's behavior then became odd. He was first diagnosed with autism at age two and a half. Mary Beth and David Palo immediately enrolled their son in occupational therapy, speech therapy, and a scientifically proven therapy called ABA, or Applied Behavioral Analysis, but they saw no improvement. Brett could speak, but he didn't have any functional language, so whenever he spoke, it was just something that he had heard, and it was always out of context. But Brett could recite verbatim what he saw on TV, so Mary Beth took it upon herself to help their son get better. With Grace's help, she made a teaching video. I'm combing my hair. Big and not little. Come on, Grace. Two weeks later, Brett was answering his mother's questions. He answered me for the first time in his life. What did he say? He said, I'm coloring. <laughs> I'm going to put the show on. You know, the, the videos are not the, the answer to, to everything. Mary Beth says medical interventions, including invasive brain surgery for Chiari malformation and even a change of diet, have also helped Brett to recover from his autism. Can a child recover from autism? Yes. But the reality is that the percentage is very small. It's probably between 5 and 10 percent of children. Now Brett plays Little League Baseball. Soon he will enter a mainstream second grade and continues to reinforce what he learns through video. In New York, Todd Connor, Fox News.